Welcome to J-Hook Magic. I'm Jess. Thank you so much for coming and stumbling along my channel and wanting to hang out with me. I truly appreciate it. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. How art thou? How art thou? I hope all is well. If you haven't already and you'd be ever so kind, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos have been posted. If it's not your first time here, welcome back my yarny friends. So excited you are here. It is Wearable Whip Wednesday. Wearable. So, uh, this is something that I have been uh, participating with for a few months now, uh, trying to get better at wearables. And I am also doing this with some of my friends um, Heather from Strings and Threads, Teresa from Critters Crochet, and Kenyatta from Kenyatta Creates. They will all be uh, linked down in my description box. Please go check them out. They are lovely, lovely ladies that are very talented and go check out what they are working on. Um, so where were we? Yes. Uh, last week I showed you that I finished the Billy Joe Armstrong uh, Green Day Tapestry for my daughter. I have not yet blocked it or put a towel rod on it. Uh, I will be doing that this week. I have to... I was looking on YouTube. You guys had a lot of great suggestions. And I never blocked anything. So I didn't know... Like, do I do the water block? Do I steam? From what I've seen, uh, steaming's the way to go. So I'm going to try to get a steamer this week and then I will put it on, I will steam it and then put it on the dowel rod and then I will show you guys it all hung up in its glory. <laughs> so sorry, I know you were, I know I told you I would show you that this week, but I didn't get around to it. But I do have a lot to show you guys because in last video, I was throwing around ideas because I am back into tapestry. I love tapestry. I love doing graphs. I, it is my happy. It makes me happy. Um, so I was like, I will combine the two. I will make a tapestry wearable. Uh, I showed you last week that I was working on a sleeve. Um, I do have two sleeves done do, 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 do. for my two arms, <laughs> Heather, <laughs> Heather cracks me up. She gets my humor. Um, beep, beep, beep. so I have the two sleeves done. That worked up really quick. Um, and while I was working on the sleeves, I'm like, what kind of like uh, graph am I gonna do? What kind of design? And as I've been uh, scrolling on uh, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, um, just anything, I've noticed that a lot of people are making uh, the chickens, the stuffed chickens. And I'm like, well, Easter's coming. So I'm like, let's make a chicken. Let's do some chickens. <laughs> so uh, I went on Stitch Fiddle and I made up a graph and um, and then I got to crocheting. I couldn't wait. And this whipped up really quick. I'm almost done with it. Almost. Let me show you what I got. That's not here. Let me know what you guys think. Okay. There's the top. I don't know if it's all, oh, there we go. So I decided to do like a chicken sweater. Isn't that cute? All different kinds of chickens. And then I was like, do I want them in a row? And I was like, no, I want them just sporadically, just like if they were just chilling and they're just like, you know, I don't know. So I only have a few more rows to go for the top. Here, let me see if I could stand up and show you. Oh, 
I got one yarn that's connected. I forgot. I got some bobbins on here, but okay. So it's gonna go like so. So I got a few more rows here till I get to the shoulders. Maybe I could show you like this better. Um, so that's my chicken sweater. <laughs> uh, so since that's, uh, it's a lot of colors and I have to, uh, um, you know, read the graph and stuff, which I made the graph on my laptop and I didn't feel like lugging all that into work. So what I did was, uh, yesterday I just brought another skein of yarn and this is in uh red heart super saver frosty green i am using a five millimeter hook and i just started doing the back so this is gonna be like a little oversized sweater uh this is the first time that i'm actually just like kind of measuring and making it up as i go so I'm like kind of sort of designing my own sweater here <laughs> uh, just off of like measurements of my body or my favorite uh, sweater just trying to like eyeball it so we'll see how this goes this is going to be interesting uh, I'm really excited and nervous at the same time <laughs> but I'm having a lot of fun and I do love the um the chicken graph that I did and uh Heather has gotten my wheels spinning. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm thinking of making some uh, tapestry patterns and maybe selling them or putting them out there or I don't know. What do you guys think? But my wheels are spinning. I'm, I got ideas. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what I am working on. Uh, I will be bringing this to work today to, I was going to do the front and back both, uh, chickens, but then I thought it was like too much. So I'm just doing a solid, uh, back. So this part is not the most fun because <laughs> it's just half double crochets back and forth, back and forth. But once I connect it and I see it all together, it'll be worth it. So I'll bring that to work to continue uh, that. And then tonight when I get home, I will finish the graph part. So that way I will have the front and the two sleeves done. So just waiting on the back. And, uh, and I'm going to put a ribbing down below uh, on the bottom. So I got to add that. But I'm really excited. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely go check out my friends. Let them know that they are amazing because they are. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll hook up with you later. Bye.